Hello everyone, this is Victor Momo and in this video I want to talk about one of the um, most easily annoying errors that you get in Excel for those of us who um, work with um, CSE formulas, control shift enter formulas or if you've ever inherited spreadsheets where um, CSE formulas are used you may have encountered this error. So let's look at this spreadsheet currently as I have it. What this is supposed to be here, this cost column, is just supposed to be a multiplication of B and C. Um, 10 times 20, 200, easy enough. 5 times 10 should be 50, you know. But for some reason, when you look at um, the formula in there, yes, you can see that it has the curly brackets. So it's um, obviously a control shift enter um, formula. Sometimes your array formula could be in a single cell. Sometimes it could be a multi-cell array formula where the formula spans over multiple cells. And that's where this error is common. So see what's going to happen here now when I try to delete. So what I want to do is I want to delete the formulas in these cells, for example, so that I can update them to what I think they should be. I could start by trying to delete this one. And you see, you can't change part of an array, okay? I try this one, can't change part of an array. I'm like, okay, maybe this three. Right. So when this happens, it means that you have a multi-cell control shift enter formula. So, but how do you then know how many cells are included in the array? You never really know. It could be these 15 cells, it could be five of them, it could be, you know, six. So what you do is very simple. You just select one of the cells, then you do a go to special. Okay, so you could either come here on the home tab to find and select and do, you know, go to special. That's one way. You could also press Ctrl G, which brings up the go to dialog and you select special. Okay, and from here you select current array. So, what it's going to do when you select current array is to then select every cell that is in the current array as the cell that you have selected. So if you select current array and do OK, you can see it then highlights the five cells. So you know that these are the five cells in the array and you can then delete them. And once you do that, you can then come back and put in a simple formula okay, to fix that. OK, so that's how it works. So let's just try the same thing here. So I try to delete this cell. You can't change part of an array. OK, I'm not sure now. What other cells are there? So I select that cell, I do my control G, I do special, and I say current array. Okay, and I can see where they are and delete. I can then you know do whatever it is I want. Okay. I hope you've learned something from this video. If you like what you've seen, you can click the subscribe button and you can also click the like button if you love the video doesn't hurt to do so if you can think it excel plan probably do it have a wonderful day